Good to be here as always, Al. Yeah, it was an exciting qualifying race last week, and uh, the season officially kicked off then, but in my mind, it officially kicks off now with this feature race. The main points are on offer here tonight. Uh, weather a possibility, humongous field. It's going to be a great show. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, that was a little bit of a surprise for me. I thought Ryan Mayfield would have a little bit more for Andres Prieto towards the end of that event, but he made a few mistakes there in those last closing laps. Couldn't quite get up to Andres and make a chance of that pass, but uh, you know what? It's not going to matter because with uh, Ryan Mayfield's uh, Super Pole qualifying effort, he's going to start uh, on pole anyway. So it is going to be Ryan Mayfield out front, and uh, we'll see if that battle's rejoined with Andres Prieto. And of course, Alex White's going to be up there too, so we'll throw him in the mix and it could be real exciting towards the front. No, it shouldn't. And, you know, lap traffic could play a role, and it could play a role pretty early in this race. And we're really going to have to stay on our toes because there could be, could toward the end of this race, be quite a bit of lap traffic. We certainly wouldn't want to miss any battles going on a, a little deeper back in the pack as this race unfolds. So we'll have to keep apprised of that. But a very three distinct sectors around this place. Uh, there are, uh, one sector is uh, much different than all the others. So Three distinct sec sectors, uh, three dis distinct areas where some cars will have advantages over the others. And uh, boy, tight track, short track, it's just always a ton of fun around this place. We should run it more, Al. Yeah, we certainly should as we're watching now an onboard with Chris Moses here um, in the Audi. I just uh, realized, uh, well, my mic was muted there, so... Uh, you know, I, I, feel, I felt like I had a great start to tonight's race, Brad. And... Uh, all for nothing, as I was muted. Um, well, you're coming through on my end, Al. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> so as we follow Chris Moses around the track here, entering this middle portion of the uh, circuit. These two tight right-handers right and then a left here into another slow right hand right hand corner at the end of sector two this fast sweeping left hander it's uh gt2 cars you could probably keep your foot in it some of these cars maybe but i see a lot of guys will lift you there this final corner very uh, as you said brad important to get the power down on the exit of that corner onto this 
somewhat straight, front straight here at Nicaragua. It's going to be a great race tonight. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it is a full throttle run off that last corner, so uh, there is no lifting involved, and hence it's it's classified as a straightaway. Yeah, that uh, that second, uh, the first sector around here, all these guys are going to be relatively close on time. Uh, there's not going to be a huge amount of separation there, though. You can get quite a good run coming off that turn three into going down turn four. Very tricky braking zone into that turn four. Um, but the second sector, and in some ways the third sector, is really going to be the big factor around here. Who's going to be able to separate from who? Um, the second sector, all about handling and really getting the car to hook, that, hook up under acceleration around here. Uh, you got to get on the gas as early as possible. It really, uh, really squirt off those corners in good shape. So, uh, we'll we'll find out who's got it figured out and who doesn't here over the course of two hours. Well, as the guys here we're finishing up the warm-up session, the guys are getting their pit entry sorted out. It's a tricky pit entrance for sure. And once this is done, we'll uh, move over to the race. It's going to be an important yeah, so start for these guys. Uh, sorry, Brad. It's going to be an important start for a lot of these guys. Uh, huge field. It's a long race. These guys are going to want to minimize the damage uh, they might get and uh, to not lose any of that potential straight line speed down the straights. But uh, these long races, uh, pa patience, uh, patience uh, really helps, especially at these starts. Yeah, well, no doubt. I, everybody's going to be served by that. Look, everybody on the whole grid wants to have a clean start. <laughs> you know, wants to give way, wants to make sure they can just settle in and uh, get, prepare for this endurance race. But that is one heck of a tricky first corner. It doesn't get any easier after that. Turns two and three are not much easier uh, <laughs> with these, these bunch starts. So uh, it is going to take patience, but uh, through more than just one corner here tonight, I think that uh, it's been extensively covered in the driver's meeting, no doubt to be careful uh, on this opening start. Everybody wants to do it, and I think they will. So we're about to finish uh, this warm-up session that's come to an end. And just very excited to see this packed house here tonight. Boy, and there's there's so many storylines yet to get to. We haven't hardly scratched the surface in here. We're about to, <coughs> about ready to, to kick this sucker off. You got some old faces making a return. I just noticed Nick Johnston on the grid, so that's good to see. He's going to be starting pretty far back, though. Yeah, Nick Johnston, it's uh, obviously great to have him back. We've got some new faces in there as well. Ben Rusk, we have... Oh, had a Carlos, but I don't see Carlos. Carlos might have been one of the drivers that dropped. Looks like uh, he dropped, some type of Yeah. Well, we're so about to go green here. We've moved over to the race session. I'm still connected, so that's good. Ambient temperature, 86 degrees. 98 degree Fahrenheit uh, track temp. Conditions look good. Let's run down the start in order here tonight. Looks like Alex White might have dropped as well. Wow. Not a good start for him this season. So, starting from Paul, Andres Preto, followed by Chris Moses, second, David Canavan, third, Laurent Vassman, fourth, and Ryan Mayfield will be starting fifth. Yeah, David Pulls in sixth, Rodrigo Triana starts seventh, Esteban Palacio starts eighth, Juan Monterey starts ninth, and Aaron Parsons starts tenth. Thomas Schubeck, eleventh, David Raleigh, twelfth, Johnny Lugnuts, thirteenth, Mike Monahan, fourteenth, and John Houston, fifteenth. John Wappen starts 16th, Mike Tressler's in 17th, Brian Story in 18th, Kreshnik Halili in 19th, and Ken Rodriguez rounds out the top 20. Jack Ivey, 21st, Curtis Chandler, 22nd, Lou Mascarelli, 23rd, Jonathan Cuppet will start 24th, and Darian Bailey, 25th. Gregory Myers starts 26th, Dan Wilkerson in 27th, Christian Hamilton is in 28th, Matt Taylor in 29th, Marty Uren starts 30th. Felipe Triana, 31st, Nick Johnson, 32nd, Kevin Miller, 33rd, Gup Douglas, 34th, and Sergio Calderon will be 35th. Rich Roman starts 36th, Jaime Moore starts 37th, Alex Scott starts 38th, Salem Montgomery Jr. starts 39th, Mike Greatrix is in 40th, and Chuck Carter in 41st, Ben Russell in 42nd. Ooh, full house. 
It is a full house for sure as uh, we actually unfortunately lost a couple guys so it's tough to see those guys go down including Alex White but uh, we're about to go green here Green flag from Interlagos. Chris Moses off to a dynamite start. He's going to jump up into the lead. Possibly. As Preto. Preto answers back. Oh, it's going to be a drag race down the, uh, down the curve at Del Sol. They're still side by side. What a start to this race as Preto and Moses battle it out. And it looks like uh, Preto is going to take take the lead away from Moses. Wow, what a fir what a start to this race for these two guys. Loret Vassman with a nice start up to fifth. Palacio running sixth. Ryan Mayfield got off also off to a great start. He uh, improved to uh, third, getting ahead of Dave Canavan. See if Moses will be able to get a run off Preto on the uh, exit here onto the main straight. Got to watch out for Mayfield in third, though. Oh, he might be a little too far back. That Lamborghini is fast. Yeah, and particularly did it fast down the straights, Al. So what a great start for Ryan Mayfield to pick up those couple spots that he was docked early and now uh, looking, looking straight at the league right in front of him. Wow, what a great start. So things looking very good toward the back of this pack, Al. Everybody's gotten through very cleanly. A couple of bumps and bruises here or there, but by and large, uh, we're off to a great start. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I gotta gotta admit, it looked great to me. Everybody, uh, everybody's car looks pretty clean. But uh, back out front, Preto starting to increase his gap a little bit over Moses. Moses coming coming under heat from Mayfield. Yeah, and I gotta tell you, it's not too surprising the way Chris Moses' car really loosened up in that qualifying race. I gotta think that he spent quite a bit of time trying to correct that, but uh, Ryan Mayfield did have incredible speed. So I gotta tell you, he's gonna be one to get by Chris Moses before too long to make sure Andres Preto doesn't get too far out of sight early. Moses, I'm sorry, Mayfield had a look on the inside of Moses, but unable to make the move. But see if Mayfield has a run down the straight. Very fast down the straight is that Lamborghini. He uh, proved that in qualifying. Well, that Audi is no slouch. And uh, close the gap a little bit, but not enough to make a run. A good exit. Uh, good work by Mayfield through the center S here. He may have a look at Moses going into turn five. Or four, rather. He's going to go for it. Looks like he's going to get it. Gonna hang on to it? Yep, so nice pass by Mayfield for second. Nicely done. Take so, no big important uh, position changes there toward the front, Al. Everybody's pretty much uh, running that now about where they started. So, without, within the top ten, they're all about there. Thomas Schubeck have been putting in some good early solid laps here. He's picked up a couple positions. So take a look further back here. Parsons holding off the Corvette. Parsons made up a couple positions. He started 10th. He's up to 7th. He's in front of Triana. Uh, David Poole behind him and David Rally. So a gaggle of cars from 6th <coughs> from, uh, all the way up. Well, pretty much through the whole field. Monroy 
Monroy on the tail of Monahan. On board with Monroy. Yeah, Ron, uh, Juan Monroy, one of those guys that perhaps has given up a spot or two since he dropped the green flag. Taking a look on the outside of Monahan, not gonna, not gonna happen. Another guy picking up a few spots at the drop of the green here is Aaron Parsons. Aaron Parsons starting, well, with our, unfortunately, Alex couldn't make it, so uh, he would have ended up starting ninth. He's picked up a couple positions to seventh. Now, we saw Aaron Parsons have a little bit of struggles there in that qualifying race. Not quite on it at the same type of pace I would have expected. Uh, so now Aaron Parsons running seventh with Rodrigo Triana trying to get past. So keep an eye on Parsons. David Poole running ninth. Thomas Schubeck, you mentioned him. He's running solidly in the 13th position. John Houston with a great start in the points, running 14th. Parsons, his teammate, he brought Dan Van GT2. Johnny Lugnuts as well with a great start, currently running 15th. And John Watton in 16th in the Porsche. So good job by John. <coughs> Brian Story trying to make his way. Ooh, a little bobble there by Watton. Let's see if uh, Story can get a run on Watton here going into turn one. Looks like he might. So that Mercedes strong down the straight. Is he going to get it done? So nice pass by Story for that 16th position. Yeah, frankly, not much of a contest, uh, that Mercedes versus Porsche down that uh, quote-unquote straightaway. Now, you see that quick weather update, we neglected to mention that the temperature actually started off relatively hot there at 103 degree track temperature. The conditions, however, have just switched over to the possibility of a few raindrops finding their way in. Ken Rodriguez and Jack, ooh, Jack Ivey with behind Rodriguez running 19. Jack, a little bit of a bobble. It's going to allow Curtis Chandler to uh, creep up on Jack. We've got a nice battle here for this 19th position as Kurt's given Jack all kinds of pressure behind him. Krishna Khalili and Matt Taylor. Ooh, Matt Taylor hot on the brakes. Behind Halili. Halili with a little damage to the rear of his BMW Z4. That definitely does look like the weather starting to move in a little bit here. The skies are getting relatively dark. Now, I was just about to say that you guys have been able to get settled in. They can start to approach this uh, with the mindset of how do I approach my pit stop strategy here for the rest of the race. Uh, but uh, that may be out the window here, Al, as uh, the skies are definitely darkening up quickly. Mike Trussler running 23rd behind Matt Taylor. And, oh, Rich Roman's in the house. Rich Roman driving the Lamborghini that was uh, meant for Savoie. Looks like Savoie unable to attend, so Roman. I thought he was going to be driving Marco's Ford GT, but it looks like he took the money and opted to go with uh, with the Lambo. That was a very late game substitute there for Rich Roman in place of Kevin Savoie, Sands, uh, Wyatt Gooden. <laughs> so. Rich Roman into that Lamborghini, and I know Ryan Mayfield was happy to snag him just before the race. A rich, a former GT1 champion. He's going to have his work cut out for him. He's got quite a bit of uh, traffic up ahead. There's a huge battle going on uh, just ahead of him, so he's going to have his work cut out for him. Meanwhile, Liquid Lou looks like he might be holding up a few guys running in 25th. He's got Kevin Miller behind him, Marty Uren. I'm not sure what happened to Marty. Oh, Marty. Uh, ooh. Kevin Miller with a bobble. That's going to let Marty by. 
Nick Johnston as well in the in the Mercedes. Nick with a little front end damage to that Mercedes. Uh oh. Christian Hamilton off into the grass. Well, that's going to allow Nick to get by as these guys are darting all over the track. Nick and Kevin Miller. So Kevin Miller is going to make this one stick on Christian. Looks like he does. As Watson doing a little lawn mowing. He's fallen way back. And as you watch that battle, I'll give you a quick update. Rodrigo Triana has gotten past Aaron Parsons for the seventh position. So David Poole now putting pressure on Aaron Parsons. David Poole, one of those guys that did lose out on the start, he started in the fifth position, now runs uh, ninth. So David Poole looking to pick up some spots. So John Watton, who was in the points at the start of this race, has now fallen back to 31st. He's got Greg Myers behind him. Dan Wilkerson running 33rd. Darian Bailey, 34th. Chuck Carter and Ben Russell doing battle. Followed by Sergio Calderon and Alex Scott. So we have just all around this uh, this circuit here at the Lago. It's just traffic everywhere. Great Tricks, 39th. Followed by Cup Douglas and Jonathan Cuppet in 41st. Jaime Moore has parked it. Yeah, so, so of the 42 that go ahead. that we're able to get to the grid and, and take off and make the start, uh, we only have one guy in the paddock. So you were right. The clouds have rolled in and the conditions are calling for rain. So it's still pretty hot out there. I don't see any indication of rain just yet. But uh, looks like yeah, the Go ahead. In fact, the temperature does continue to climb a little bit up. Looks like Andre might have a little damage to the right side of that McLaren. He's got about a two-second gap over Mayfield. Meanwhile, these two have checked out from Chris Moses, who was uh, battling there for the lead of this race at the start. But he's come under pressure from David Can Canavan. It looks like Canavan might have some pace on Moses. Yeah, and just now, Ryan Mayfield might be showing some pace on Andres Prieto. Andres Prieto held that gap in the opening laps to about two and a half seconds until just here in the last lap, so maybe a bit of a bobble out there for Andres Prieto. Well, we did see that in the qualifying race. Mayfield was slowly chipping away at Andres' lead, but it looked like Mayfield made a mistake late and lost some of that uh, time he made up, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that. But meanwhile, Canavan going to work on Moses. We Remember, we, uh, we talked to Moses last week, and he said that, uh, ooh, as Canavan has a huge moment and manages to hang on to it, but uh, lost some time there to Moses, so he got some work cut out for him. But uh, Moses mentioned that uh, this Audi, the tire wear on his car tends to, uh, the car tends to fade a little earlier than some of these other guys, so looks like we're starting to see that. Well, with the temperature beginning to climb, now 106 degree track temperature, that's not going to help them at all because I know that the Audi tires uh, will suffer a bit of extra wear uh, along with that heat, of course. Uh, those all combines in some loose conditions, but there's a guy here at Timing and Scoring I've been keeping a pretty close eye on, which is uh, Rodrigo Triana. Now, Rodrigo Triana has gotten past Aaron Parsons. Oh, I think just just now made a little bit of a bobble, but uh, was approaching Esteban Palacio. Rodrigo Triana looking very racy here for our season opener. Certainly is, and I'll tell you what, Laurent Vassman is not that far, as the rain has started, but Laurent Vassman not that far off, David Canavan and Palacio. These two have been running lockstep since the drop, since the green flag. And uh, I'm gonna hand it to Laurent. Good, good start to season 22 for him after a uh, kind of disappointing uh, season last season. And Palacio off to a, to a wonderful start as well. So great to see Laurent uh, up there and, and holding that pace at the moment. Now this track has gone from dry to damp like in a matter of half a lap out, just uh, instantly. So I don't know if this spells doom or or what, but uh, ooh, Ryan Mayfield quickly closing in on Andres Prieto. Now within about a second, these guys are going to have some... Chris Moses off track. Short Chris Moses oh goes off. So the, the wet weather is starting to play, uh, play a role here. Well, I'm going to have to keep an eye on these guys. 
Oh! So I got wet fast. As Triana goes off, he got run into by Palacio. It looks like. Oh, tough break there for Triana. He had such a great start. It looks like he's back on track, but. Oh, these guys are struggling for grip now. So it looks like that's a case of Palacio. The conditions, he just couldn't get the car stopped in time. So as he starts to struggle here, he's got pressure from Parsons. Uh, meanwhile, pa Is Preto... Is there anybody who doesn't succumb to the broadcaster's curse, Al? Absolutely not. Preto with a big lurch. Let's see if he decides to pit in. This is going to be a big decision here. It is. Already a few guys in. Jaime Moore, Gregory Myers, D, D. Bailey all in. Preto stays out, as does Mayfield. So Mayfield and Preto... Uh, well, I, 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 I got a feeling Mayfield is going to do what Preto does. So he's going to stay out. Let's see... Uh, Ooh, as Mayfield oh. gets into the back of Pre uh, Preto. Oh, well, there's okay, another Andre, example. Back, there's another example of that the track conditions. I think I got a feeling these guys should have pitted in. Canavan has stayed out. Vassman as well. Parsons, Palacio. You know, one couple guys exiting the pit lane. Rally with a big decision. slide, yep. I think that decision should have been made last lap. Well, this is a real opportunity for some guys. Oh, Kevin Miller is taking a DNF. Just popped up on timing and scoring. Kevin Miller out. Chris Moses has stayed out. He continues in 10th. So we're going to have a shake-up here to this. Uh, ooh, as David Poole with a big lurch. There's no question these guys have got to go on in the wets. Yeah, the track's gone to wet. It now, a guy that might have wet. come in a couple... Yeah, a guy that might have come in a couple laps early and gambled on the full wet tires, well, they could really be sitting pretty at this point. So Mayfield has allowed Preto by as these two go side by side. So these guys... Boy, they had already opened up. Yeah, they had already opened up about an eight-second lead over the field, so that little fracas didn't cost them too much time in terms of track position. Let's see what Mayfield Boy, tough does. pit entry. Mayfield staying out. Preto in. Wow. Wow. Wow, that could, that could make a difference, Al. Yeah, that could definitely come down to uh, inexperience. I know Mayfield new to GTR2 this well to NAGP last season, but he's staying out. As is Canavan. That could cost. Oh wow, that could Parsons. cost him a good couple seconds worth of track position right there. Well, we got to keep an eye on the Z4 in front of Parsons. He he pitted. Gonna have to see who that is. As Parsons struggling to put the power down. Palacio rally stayed yeah. out. Preto is away, so it looks like he just took tires. Lug nuts! Whoa! Lug nuts loses it. Marty. Oh, these guys are going off left and right. As Roman is up to ninth from starting close to the back. It's interesting. I look at the conditions. I look at the drivers that have stayed out. One guy I find very interesting and stayed out is Aaron Parsons, and that makes me wonder exactly why. Aaron usually very sharp on these changing weather conditions. Uh, so I, I don't know if uh, maybe some of these guys are thinking it's going to dry out a bit more again. Uh, the, it's very hot out there still, but i got to think it's time for some time. Oh, Aaron's good. Oh, he's all over the place. Vassman out of the pit lane. So this could, we could have a Vassman, we could have Vassman leading this race after all these pits are said and done. Boy, and the guys that, oh, conditions just went to flooded out. Wow. Forecast. Forecast for flooded. Wow, yeah, so the guys that have stayed out these couple laps are going to be hosed. So, Moses has come out of the pit lane. He's got Triana up ahead of him. Triana struggling for grip. David Mayfield Poole. takes another lap, Al. David Poole is, looks like he's pitted. So, Monaghan exiting the pit lane. Triana as well. So, what a shakeup. 
Whoever doesn't like rain, man, you got something wrong. Yeah, you know, another possibility is some of these guys could have had somebody in their box. I mean, guys dive in, you know, early, uh, kind of without calling for that pit request, and, and boy, things are really getting shaked up. I can't believe Ryan Mayfield's still out there. He is going to lose a ton of time. So, Roman into the pits. Can of the... Ooh, Mascarelli, Liquid Lou. Looks like he might have a puncture. He's work making his way back into the pit lane. So, again, Roman, there you have him. He's in. Brian Story's parked it. Jaime Moore in. And Mayfield... Now, you got Marty Uren running in the second position. Now, I'm not sure if... I don't know how, how Mayfield's keeping this thing on track, but he's coming under intense pressure now from some lap cars, and he's going to want to get in the pits as soon as possible. Yeah, no doubt he'll be coming in. And I think... I uh, don't know that Marty Uren has pitted. He may have, but if not, then uh, you'll absolutely be right about that. Laurent Weissman taking the lead of this race. I'll get so it slowed Mayfield up, Ryan. is in. So a busy pit lane as Vassman is all over the back of Marty. Now, Marty doesn't look like Marty has pitted, so... It's Vassman, Paul, and Moses. Let's see how quick... Oh, as, as Vassman now takes... Gets past Marty. And if he can get... Now... Mayfield still with quite the gap on the rest of the field. Not sure where Preto ended up. Yeah. Andres Preto showing in 17th for some reason. So I... Definitely... Oh, look. Vassman's going to take the lead. It de definitely seemed to me that Preto got in and out pretty quick. So... Uh, someone had to have been in his box. So, Mayfield is oh. away. Let's see if Mayfield can... Well, it's going to be close, folks. Wow, Mayfield's going to hang on to this lead. It's going to be a run down to the uh, turn four and five. Uh, Vassman may have a shot. Nope, not, doesn't look like it's going to be close enough. Wow. So, so in the end, I guess uh, I guess you're right. Andres did have a problem with the pit, and that really did help uh, help Mayfield out. Uh, retains control of this race. Wow, flooded. Wow. And the fact that he was able to put those laps in under wet. Ooh, as we got a BMW in pieces. But Vassman doing his best to hold off uh, David Poole and Chris Moses. Let's see, David Rally now up to fifth. So good run here for Dave Rally. Matt Taylor now in the sixth position. So Matt Taylor holding off Aaron Parsons. Matt Taylor with some lap cars uh, behind him. Parsons now running in seventh. Canavan back now in eighth. <coughs> Palacio ninth. Greg Myers up to 10th. Greg, he was probably the first guy in the pits. He saw this thing coming. He was back. He started near the back, and look at him now, running in the 10th spot. Yeah, Matt Taylor as well came in at the same time Gregory Myers did. So both those guys making the early call now. They may be on some type of intermediate or perhaps hard, wet tire. They, the guys that did stop after him may have an advantage uh, with some soft wets, perhaps. Ooh, it looks like Monaghan, he's taking the scenic route. Meanwhile, Preto has gotten past John Houston, Triana in 14th. So Andre making his way now through the field. Rich Roman is now battling Montgomery Jr. and Kreshnik Khalili. So Roman back in 18th. Lugnuts 19th. So Lugnuts, you're going to have to keep an eye on Lugs in this, these conditions. He's dynamite in the wet. Yeah. 
Hamill to 20th, followed by Schubeck, who's fallen now back to 21st. Jack Ivey and Mike Trussler. On board with Trussler. Trussler having a look on the inside of Ivey. Is he going to get it done? He does. Good pass by Mike. Yeah, the way you watch that, Jack. Al, let's not... Yeah, with, while you watch that battle, let's not forget that the, the start of this rain is really only one component to it. You know, it's likely to quit or at least kind of shut off a little bit. So these guys are still going to have more decisions coming up. Absolutely. As Marty Uret rejoins in 24th, Alex Scott running 25th, Ken Rodriguez now back to 26th. Darian Bailey, 27th. Serge Calderon, 28th. Ben Russell back at 29th. Duck Douglas in a battle for 30th with, oh, Mike Drake's a great trick. Sorry, he's a little bit behind him. Mike at the 4GT. Kurt Chandler now getting passed. It looks like by Parsons. Kurt's back at 32nd, so tough. Kurt's got, oh, we got a huge wreck. Behind us, Nick Johnson. It looks like one of the uh, Corvettes. I'm not sure what that hit. But my God, that thing's in pieces. As Watson now has gone around. Oh. So it looks like Watson might have gotten in some contact with either Nick Johnston or, regrettably, Laurent Vassman. Yeah, it looks like it was Vassman. Trying to figure out who that Corvette was. Oh, that was Juan uh, Monroy. I think it was Juan Monroy. Wow. So yeah, Laurent Weissman really started struggling. He was in a pitch battle with Chris Moses and David Poole as well. Chris Moses and David Poole got past Laurent on a mistake, but then David Poole threw it off track. So Chris Moses now retains a second position. Wow, that was. Uh Brutal wreck for uh, Monterey. Let's hope he's okay. On uh, board with Preto now. Trying to make his way past uh, Greg Myers. That's going to be a little uh, easier said than done. Well, Greg is a very savvy veteran NATP driver. If Andres Preto shows a lot of speed, I think he just might defer to that speed and uh, settle into his own type of pace here. Uh, these conditions are very tricky, and uh, and he knows not to not to drive over his head for sure. You can tell from this onboard, it's uh, you can just see how wet the track is. Conditions remain flooded. Well, uh, we've had the opportunity to settle down, I think, a little bit. The guys that are out there now are going to have some sense of what the tires and the track is going to be doing underneath them. Now, it should be noted also that we don't know what kind of tires these guys are on. Some of them uh, will be on different types of tires, maybe even some intermediates out there as a possibility. Uh, it is worth a note also that David Rowley now holds on to the third position, uh, and David Poole making his mistake now in fourth. It looks like you got another car off really tell who that was but Mayfield continues to lead this race ahead of now Chris Moses running in second followed by Rally in third so good job by David Rally. the early, early part of this race with just over 30 minutes into this one should see the guys well these uh, these conditions have really changed the pit game now so normally we'd probably see the guys pit in around the 45 minute mark I would guess Brad yeah, well, that's right. Somewhere around the lap 40. All of these guys likely would have been able to make two stops. Some of the guys might have had to back off, but now it's a for sure two stop in terms of fuel uh, for everybody in the field. Now, there's a possibility, I suppose, some of these guys took on some fuel along with those tires, so that will obviously change things for them. So David Rally with a substantial lead now over David Poole in fourth. Vassman now has fallen back to fifth. He's got some damage. It looks like he got mixed up with uh, John Wathen. Uh, Parsons now closing the gap on Vassman for that fifth spot. Canavan now, who was up, uh, started up near the front. Now, well, he is 
Still towards the front, but he's falling back towards seventh. Uh, two seventh, rather. Matt Taylor continues to put in a strong run, currently in eighth, with Palacio putting the pressure on. On board with Esty. Yeah, what a four way battle that is. That's the bond, take a look on the inside. Yeah, give it plenty of room. It looks like Esteban's going to get the pass made. He does. Greg Meyer is still fending off Preto. So we got a great battle here for this eighth position. Ooh, Matt Taylor taking it a little wide. Looks like Taylor's making it easy for these guys. I'd like to see him put up a little bit more of a fight there. He lets them all by. Yeah, I'm not sure what the story is there on Matt Taylor. Matt Taylor has definitely made a pit stop, so he may be one of those that is on the, the non-optimal tire here and having to uh, be a little bit extra cautious. Continue on board with Preto as this battle now is pretty intense. We got a lap car up ahead. Looks like that's Kurt Chandler. Oh, Preto, take a look on the inside of Greg, that would have been scary. As Kurt giving plenty of room to these guys. You know what I think happened to Monroy? There is a little gap in the wall there as Kurt get it woed up. But there is a little gap in the wall in that straight. And I think he just, he drove into it. Wow. So Greg protecting the inside line. That's a smart play by Greg. Ooh, as Palacio takes it wide. That's going to let Greg and Prado by. That's the easiest yeah, pass anybody can make. <laughs> That's right. It wouldn't be uncommon for Gregory to make a, not easy, but uh, to make a little room for Andres to get by. But Greg's uh, looking a little racy. I think he wants to hold on to this spot. Ah, so word from the pit lane as Matt's... Uh, Suspects Matt's gonna try and double stint. He doesn't want to no boy. burn out his tires. That's gonna be a challenge in these wets. With these wets on. Well, it's a good strategy. I like it. You know, why not be bold? Take advantage of the conditions. Uh, if it doesn't work out, well, um, you know, you're hosed. But if it does work out, you're the hero. So Bassman continues to run in that seventh spot. As Greg continues to uh, fend off the intense pressure from Preto. Yeah, I'm doing a great job. Of course, that BMW uh, Z4 that Gregory is driving is uh, really excellent. It needs to be. So Preto taking a look on the inside. And he finally gets it done, sort of. Yes. Well, it's still going to be a clawback for Andres Preto. Now sitting some 45 seconds off Ryan Mayfield, who has checked out now from second place Chris Moses to the tune of 14 seconds. Now, David Rowley is putting some heat on Chris Moses for that second position. Well, he certainly is, as Moses now is dealing with uh, some lap traffic up ahead. On board with Rowley. We got some time. I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, one of our special viewers out there, Sean Perry. Sean Perry tuning in. He tunes in uh, every Monday and Thursday. He had a question. Uh, he had a question for the broadcasters. Wants to know if uh, if there's a Toyota Corolla involved in this car pack, and no, there is not. So sorry, Sean. No Corollas in the car pack. Maybe next season. Not yet. Ooh, as Rally has a bit of a uh, lurch there as uh, dealing with some some lap traffic. Looks like that might be Johnny or Lou, one of the two. So it loses a little bit more time to Moses as Moses looking to get by uh, 
a lap car as well. And Moses looks like he got into the back of that lap car. Yeah, and as you watch that, I can give you a quick update on positions 12 through 15th here. Rodrigo Triana, Rich Roman, Johnny Lugnuts all uh, fighting tooth and nail here for the 12th position. So Rich Roman continuing to move up. Johnny Lugnuts going to... Oh, and Johnny Lugnuts, they kept coming together. Rodrigo Triana out of this race. Johnny Lugnuts hardened to the wall. Rich Roman through the 12th. Wow, Johnny better get that car moved. As Halili really struggling to get that car straightened out down the down the straight. I uh, didn't quite catch that. That might have been some lap traffic uh, fracas there, Al. I'm not sure. So what a shame. But what a battle those guys were having. So Johnny's back at it. It looks like he's uh, no worse for wear. He's got Marty Uren behind him now. Thomas Schubeck now up to 20th. Jack Ivey yeah, running quick, on the uh, 21st. Go ahead. Real, another quick real update. Uh, David Rowley has gotten past Chris Moses, so David Rowley now in the second position. Oh, as Lugnuts and Halili now have a coming together. This is the second coming together for Lugnuts in the same lap. Oh, boy. So Halili looks like he's really having a hard time and just in front of the leader, leader Mayfield. Wow. Looks like Halili might I have a, a poor set of tires on. He might want to bring that in the pit lane and not uh, not affect anybody else's race any, any further than he already has. Yeah, hi there, Daryl. Darren Bailey is running 22nd. And unfortunately, I do not see Ben. Oh, Ben Russell is in 28th in the pits currently with heavy front end damage. So Barrett, there we're looking at him now. Darren Bailey, 22nd. Just behind Jack Ivey. All right, Laurent Bassman, Aaron Parsons, and Gregory Myers now fighting it out. Alex Laurent White. Bassman is, oh. Alex White saying uh, he'd be leading right now if he was in this race. Uh, looks like oh. your, looks like your internet provider is leading right now, Alex. You might want to get that straightened out. So Cup Douglas now running 23rd. Greatrix 24th. Nick Johnson back at 25th. With Monahan, ooh, Monahan's falling way back at 26th. Alex Scott running 27th behind uh, front uh, behind him is Chuck Carter. I haven't talked much about Chuck. Pretty quiet race for him so far. He continues to uh, to run. It looks like a pretty clean run. He's got uh, don't see any damage on his car. Ken Rodriguez, however, falling back to 29th. Kurt Chandler back at 30th. Kurt having a tough race right now. Dan Wilkerson, 31st. Liquid Lou back in 32nd. Jonathan Cuppet running 33rd. Felipe Triana, not the race he was hoping for. He's back in 34th. And Ben Russell now making his way out of the pit lane. He's back at 35th. Sergio Calderon, 36th. And that's how they run. So we just had Laurent Weissman pop back into the pits just now. And I got to wonder what kind of tires he was on. Laurent Weissman really struggling out there. So I wonder if he's going to go ahead and take some fuel. If he's hit a pit window, he's going to slap on another set of tires and... I think maybe try to fix that uh, the handling of that Mercedes in the wet stuff. So the conditions remain flooded. The track temper has gone down slightly. Yeah, I wonder if he took s possibly soft wets. I don't either that or the hard wets he was running on just just have gone away on him. So Mayfield with a 14 second gap over. Sorry, 18. Se oh, as Rally takes it off track. Well, there it is again. That gives the position over to Moses for second. 
Yeah, interesting. Gregory Myers had just thrown it off there in that same corner of the previous lap, had allowed Aaron through. Aaron made a mistake of his own and allowed Gregory back through. So Gregory Myers up to seventh position, still driving a great race here early. So meanwhile, you know, we haven't mentioned his name too much tonight, but David Poole has quietly worked his way back up to fourth. He fell as far back as tenth, I believe, but putting in a solid run right now. Uh, Nobody really in front or behind him, so he's running a pretty quiet race at the moment. Uh, David Canavan yeah. uh, running fifth. Go ahead, Brett. I think that we are having some scheduled stops now. A few guys into the pits. Uh, Aaron Parsons just now coming in. I think these guys are in a pit window. Jack Ivey as well. So uh, we should start a fuel pit stop rotation. Sorry, some of these guys may have taken just uh, just tires on their initial stop. So for the wet weather tires, so it looks like yeah, you're right. They're coming into that pit window now. Houston in. It looks like these two are running the same program here tonight. That's gonna move Shoe back up to 15th. So if you're out there on track and you're hitting your fuel window, there's not too many tire decisions to make at the moment. The temperature has begun to drop. Uh, the track still shows us flooded. So pretty easy, safe bet here. You go ahead and put on the soft, wet tread. As we watch our leader Mayfield make his way through some lap traffic. Uh, looks like Houston just, uh, I'm sorry, Wathen might have just taken it off track. So Chris Moses uh, continues. He's got about a five-second gap over David Rally, who was running second but made a mistake in turn one a couple laps ago. Gave that position back. You wonder if Rally's tires are starting to, starting to suffer here. He's checking to see if Mayfield decides to come into the pit lane, uh, into the pits. A little too early for that. David Poole still out there. David Poole, oh, he's in the Michelin shot. BMW. The one guy who should be benefiting from these conditions there is uh, some guy, guy like Marty Uran in the Dunlop BMW. Those are very good uh, wet weather tires. Yeah, very good performer in the rain. One of the better performers in the rain. And Marty Uran is up to 13th. Uh, after all, so he's not putting in a bad effort here, and I think he has quite a few opportunities to move up as the stops do cycle through, because uh, like I say, the conditions aren't changing. The guys are going to be uh, on their same. Now, Ryan Mayfield as well, you mentioned about the, his pit stop. I know that Ryan Mayfield is actually going to be a little close on fuel, so he's going to take advantage of every lap he can get out of the, the, the tank before he comes in and fuels it up. So looks like most of the front runners are staying out. Are you surprised by Parsons pitting this early? No, um, no. I, I, who knows what kind of strategy is on? What tires he may have taken? Who knows? Maybe the soft wets. Uh, he's, he's taking the soft wets. They're simply getting too hot on him. Uh, uh, for whatever reason, Aaron Parsons is gonna is gonna have a good reason for coming into the pit. So it looks like Canavan might have uh, made up some time on David Poole as Poole is trying to work his way through some lap traffic. Meanwhile, Preto. On a charge now, up to six and closing up on Canavan. Great run for Andres. Greg Myers still running in that seventh position ahead of Palacio, who is now approaching the turn one. So Palacio might have made a couple, couple, three mistakes as he's lost a bunch of time to Greg Myers. Wow, he's way back. Now Ro Rich Roman now running in ninth. So Rich putting in a strong run in that uh, Lamborghini. After starting from the back, Montgomery Jr. now up to 10th. David Poole's teammate. Mike Trussler running in 11th. Wow, good on Mike. How do you run? You mentioned him, Brad. He's up to 12th. Yeah, and watching a battle now, actually, between Gup Douglas and Darian Bailey. Now, uh, this is over the 19th position. They are battling very tooth and nail with the lap traffic as well. So, a pretty tense affair out there over the 19th position at the moment. 
Our boy with Gup. Uh, looks like Gup might have made the move into uh, on that last corner. Our boy with Bailey. Take a look on the inside. Cup defends well. So Cup Douglas makes that move and makes it stick. So we got 11 cars on the lead lap. Mike Trussler being the last car. Yeah, Esto, Esteban Palacio now bringing it into the pits from the ninth position. So Mayfield making his way past. Looks like Ken Palacio in. Trussler will move up to 10th. Mayfield's right behind him. Hamilton in the pits. Schubeck is still out on track. He's running in the 15th spot. So Vassman now back to... Ooh, as it looks like that... That might be... That could have been uh, Wathen. Oh yeah, so Wathen doing a number on the front straight, he's back on it. Not sure exactly what you're watching there, Al, but I can tell you quickly that uh, Chris Moses, uh, David Rowley has rejoined that fight with Chris Moses, so David Rowley looking to take over that second position now. Andres Printo making rapid advancement towards David Poole over the fourth position. Oh no, Andres, oh no, that was somebody else that spun. <laughs> What going on out there, Al? Wow, so looks like Preto made his way past uh, Canavan for fifth, and now he's about to put the move on Pool for fourth. So, wow, late surge here by Preto. This amazing well, that pace in this wet. Very well in the wet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, to be fair, he hasn't picked up much time, but he has a little bit on our race leader, Ryan Mayfield. Of course, those were the two guys at the front to start the race before Andres uh, had that problem with those pit stops. So Andres driving a bit like a driver possessed. Wow, well, we were watching uh, Preto make his way by. Uh, looks like Hanavan got by Poole as well. Didn't even see it happen. Uh, looks like Poole gave Canavan the spot. I'm just watching the replay now, so... Looks like Poole might be off pace now. He may be coming in the pit shortly. Yeah, just saw a stroke of lightning out there, so still no questions on what kind of tires to take. Looks like these conditions will hold for a little little while yet. So Greg Myers continues to run seventh. Take a look at the timing, see if anybody up front has decided to come in, and it does not look like it. As Mayfield continues his way, 20-second gap over second place Moses looks like rally made another mistake as oh no I'm sorry that was shoot back up I was looking at but you're right uh, rally has closed up a bit on Moses yeah and real quickly I'll give you another quick update here on Johnny Lugnuts Johnny Lugnuts holding down the 13th position besides uh, despite seeing him kind of go off here and there uh, unfortunately, he's falling under pressure at the moment from Thomas Schubeck. On board with Schubeck. And I have to assume Esteban Palacio has come in already, so he is the next car in line from that group and closing pretty rapidly. Yeah, Palacio did pit a couple laps ago, so he's, he's good for this middle stint. So we mentioned like, uh, Johnny Lugnuts' prowess in the wet. And uh, as Schubeck 
He's got a lap car ahead of him, and he's got his teammate behind, and he... Well, this is going to be interesting here. Let's just keep an eye on it and see what happens. As David Raleigh trying to get by his Schubeck as well. So Moses gets by well, well, we see, somewhat cleanly. Go ahead. We did see Johnny Lugnuts have a few problems, but in his defense, that Ferrari can be pretty darn tricky in the best of conditions, uh, let alone with the rain. So Johnny Lugnuts really doing a pretty fine job out there. Just got word that uh, Matt Taylor might have gotten taken out. Don't see any damage on his car, but that's unfortunate if that's what, what happened. Christian Hamilton Actually did all see over him the back off. of him. Go ahead, Brent. I did see him off track. Didn't see what precipitated it. So we're nearly an hour into this race. There's still plenty of race left to go yet. If, you, if you're one of these guys somewhat mid-pack, no sense giving up at this point. I mean, the way the weather's no. going and the way things can change, points are still uh, still within your grasp, especially for someone like Christian Matt Taylor up ahead of him here. We're up over Christian now. Ooh, Christian. That looks like Taylor breaking a little early going into that corner. Gives Hamilton that spot. Sure hard to blame the guy with these types of conditions. Yeah. Looked like it kind of caught Christian off guard a little bit, but Christian good to react there. Scott yeah, and as you watch that battle. Go ahead. Sorry, Al, I could, t I could tell you that the battle for second is well and truly joined now with David Rowley just right on Chris Moses' bumper. A lot of traffic. Ooh, oh, Rally with a mistake. Wow, he's really making it easy for Moses tonight. But he still retains that third spot. He's getting a little greedy. His eyes were getting big. Yeah, I mean... He's got, got it all, all over again. It definitely looks like he's got the pace on Moses in these conditions. But he's just uh, pushing a little too hard. Oh, Canavan now has gotten past Preto. So it must have been some type of uh, mistake there as as Canavan has made his way through. Preto now falling back to fifth. Take a look at that gap from Canavan. So it's uh, 15 seconds. Canavan to David Raleigh. So still plenty of race. These guys could, uh, well, at the rate uh, rallies going off, they could be up, uh, up in that uh, podium position soon enough. Yeah. Oh, uh, as one of the BMWs goes off, I'm not sure who that was. Well, I'm not catching any of that action. I can tell you, Rich Roman has rejoined the track after a quick visit to the pits. Here, Rich Roman rejoins in 11th spot. Excuse me. Oh, Marty, you ran. I'm not sure what happened to Marty, but it looks like it might have been some. It was a whole train of cars going down that straight, so a couple guys might have come together. Oh, Marty suffering some heavy damage to the to the right front of his BMW. Doesn't look like he's got a puncher, however. But uh, that uh, that right front is uh, well and truly uh, deformed. Still hanging yeah, out of that, that 13th was the spot. Go ahead. If that was a result of traffic, uh, it's not surprising at all. In fact, I was just going to say right when that uh, you caught that, Al, that uh, these gaps are opening and closing uh, due to the result of lap traffic. There's just so much of it out there at the moment. So I just want to take time to thank all you guys for uh, you guys watching here tonight who's tuned in chiming in in the uh, 
on the chat. It's great to see you. Got any questions? You want us to follow somebody for a little bit? Let us know. We'll be more than happy to do so. And also those people who are not chatting and just sitting there watching, thanks for tuning in. You can, follow, you can find us here Monday nights. Let's start that night. And a GPGT2 action. And Thursdays as well, GT1, Jack Ivey and Ken Rodriguez do a wonderful job on Thursdays. So, Schubeck, 16th. Mikey Monahan has worked his way up to 17th. Mikey with an up and down start to this race. Well, he started pretty decent, but it, it fell back quite a bit. Uh oh, Schubeck has a moment, and he's going to give that spot up to Monaghan as, Ma as Marty pulls into the pits. Yeah, it looks like Thomas is starting to struggle with that Audi. We've seen Chris Moses have his moments of, as well. Of course, teammate Chris Moses in second place, so handling the conditions a bit better than Thomas at the moment. You know, granted, uh, Salem Montgomery just came out of the pits, and... Uh, you know, that accident couldn't have come really at a better time. If it was going to happen at any time, it, it, it was good that it happened then because it appears if Salem and, and uh, Marty are on the same uh, pitch strategy there, Marty just dove into the pitches at the right time. Yeah, we just mentioned Thomas Schubeck. Thomas Schubeck now falling under pressure from John Houston, so that is for the 16th position. John Houston now taking a look, going into turn four. Oh, Schubeck taking the long way around the track. Seems like every guy we yeah. focus on tonight, <laughs> bang, off they go. Yeah, it's been a it's been a bad bad curse tonight for these guys. Cup Douglas, he's got a whole train of cars behind him. I believe those guys maybe a lap down to Gup. Christian Hamilton running a 19th. This. this uh, this race order here is all jumbled up. Matt Taylor running 20th. Darian Bailey, he is, uh, ooh, it looks like Wathen doing some more wall sampling as Darian Bailey doing, uh, he's running at 21st. Alex Scott, 22nd. Nick Johnston, well, tough return here for season, uh, after missing season 21, tough tough debut here, season 22 for Nick Johnson as he's running in the 23rd position. Started right beside Rich Roman. Rich Roman made his way, knifed his way through the uh, field and has, finds himself in the top 10. Meanwhile, Nick struggling here back at 23rd. Marty Uren running 24th, he comes out of the pit lane, all repaired, ready to go. Kurt Chandler, 25th. Jack Ivey and Ken Rodriguez, two teammates on Thursday broadcast team. Doing battle here, 26th and 27th. Felipe Triana, 28th. Oh, we got, as Halili takes it into the wall pretty heavily. Mascarelli just went off. And uh, Gratrix, 31st. Chuck Carter noses it into the wall as well, so he's running 32nd. Wilkerson, 33rd. Calderon, 34th. And Wathen, bringing up the rear in 35th. I take that back. Cumberland's running 36th. And that's how they run. We're going to have to do a radio simulcast <coughs> for these races. I, I hate putting these guys off track uh, all this time here, Al. I know. Rich yeah. Roman into the pits. Into the Chris pit Moses goes. into the pits. Everybody's diving in now. Mayfield, he's stayed out. So Moses, he's about, well, pitted in probably around 20 some odd seconds back. Dave Raleigh, he stayed out. He's running third. Uh, he's just moved up to second. Preto, Canavan, round up your top five. So Raleigh takes over that second spot. We're going to have to see if Mayfield decides to pit in now. Seeing as his competitors, he's got quite a bit of a cushion, though. Yeah, and uh, and again, conditions have not moved. 101 degrees out on track, despite this very heavy rainfall. So conditions still showing as flooded, and uh, boy, it's looked like this has settled in for nice soaking. Yeah, this uh, this track has a tendency to, as we're witnessing this evening, 
There's a tendency to rain buckets. But it looks like Mayfield is staying out. So Rally, if he keeps everything tidy here and puts in some good puts in a couple good laps, I'm not sure when he's gonna pit, but if he gets in and out of the pit lane relatively uh, speedy, he could uh, he could come out for ahead of Moses, but yeah, you know, the main thing is just not to make mistakes. We've seen him make them, but uh, the main thing is just be patient, not make mistakes, get into this pit. He knows he's likely to have pace on Chris Moses, uh, maybe throughout the whole stint, but certainly late in the stint, so uh, no need to do anything rash or push too hard. Just get in, get out, and get back after it. A lot of support in the uh, broadcast for Dave Rally. Got fans from all over the globe. Meanwhile, Preto running in third. I got back by Dave Canavan. These two have jockeyed for position most of the night. Uh, I should say the last half of this first stint. Take a look at the session time. Yeah, we've got uh, over an hour in now. Hour, hour and change. Now, we saw Aaron come in for an early stop here on this stint. Aaron Parsons now at the seventh position, so a couple positions gained there. It would be interesting to see just how much of that he could hold on to uh, here because these tires are, good, of course, going to be a bit more worn than these other guys. Yeah, I believe uh, Parsons is behind Greg Myers. Greg Myers still uh, ahead of Aaron by a lap on track, so Greg has yet to pit. Greg uh, in that white BMW. Chris Moses has rejoined in sixth with, I'm sorry, that was Houston behind uh, Myers. Aaron Parsons now running in seventh. Mike Trussler now continues to put on a show here, running in eighth. Palacio ninth. And David Poole in your top ten. So. So Mayfield with a 45 second gap over David Raleigh. So quite a drive getting put in tonight by Mayfield in these conditions. Not only is it tough, tough conditions in these in the wet, but the amount of traffic these guys are dealing with is uh, says a lot about these guys. I know we've seen some incidents here and there most of the night, uh, much of tonight, but it's been relatively uh, a good job by both uh, by both the lap cars and the lead cars yeah indeed now it seemed to me David Poole is actually up the order quite a bit more than where he's at now I don't know if uh, pit stops have possibly affected this but David Poole running in 10th and I saw Esteban Palacio there in 9th Canavan is in he's uh, getting lifted up on the jacks it looks like Chris Moses will pass him uh, if he keeps it off the wall yeah So Moses will get by. Looks like Parsons may get by Canavan as well. Oh, Canavan is away. Yeah, that gap's certainly going to close up, though. So Aaron Parsons coming in a little early. Whatever uh, he's done yes. on that early pit stop has paid dividends. He's nailed it. Gets by uh, Canavan for that sixth position. So great stop. Yeah, it really was. He has done a lot of damage. Yeah, great stop by Moses as well. Uh, let's see. Well, Moses did have a bit of a gap over Canavan, so. But Canavan rejoins in seventh. Not sure where Preto ends up. Oh, I'm sorry. Preto's still out there running in third. I thought he had pitted. He got one of the Fords in, either Bailey or Russell in the pit lane. So Dave Raleigh's continue yeah, out, uh, has stayed out, as has Mayfield. Yeah, Mayfield, Raleigh, Preto, and Myers all yet to make that pit stop. So I think these are about the last four guys. Maybe a couple guys there in the field someplace we, uh, we haven't seen. 
Well, it seems like every time we, every time we've picked up Mayfield on track, he's been mired in traffic. But I'm a little surprised these guys behind him haven't been able to make up some time on him, to, especially with the amount of time he spent be trying to get trying to get around guys. Yeah, you know his lap times are still very consistent. So the uh, traffic is yielding very quickly, or he's getting through them very quickly. One of the two. So uh, still holding very good lap to lap pace. By that. And really, I mean, very, very clearly. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you have to wonder. Of course, him and Andres were making quite a go. Alex uh, White, of course, dropped from this race. Uh, but w what a race it's turned out to be, especially for the conditions for Ryan Mayfield be able to um, kind of just settle in and set the set his own pace as these conditions have unfolded. So uh, it's uh, been an easy task so far for Ryan Mayfield. So Preto has really chewed into. Uh, David Raleigh's uh, lead on him as the gap is now just over three seconds. As one of the McLarens is off pace, that might be Monaghan. Raleigh, uh, Raleigh and Preto have decided to stay out. Oh, Esteban takes a DNF. Esteban running up there in the top ten has taken a DNF out of this race. That's a shame. So, uh, answer a quick question there on Twitch. The conditions have hardly changed at all here in the last 45 minutes. The temperature, is, track temperature has gone down one single degree to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Still flooded, still rainy, still a lot of fun. So, Andres Preto now looking at timing and scoring. David Rowley was up in front. Andres Preto has gotten packed. Tell you what. Mike Trussler continues to put in a strong performance and he is now on the back of David Poole and putting the pressure on Poole. Wow. Now, oh no, that was Matt Taylor going for the Phillips. Trussler uh, making his way gingerly around the bend there on that straight. So David Poole finds himself eighth. But uh, really, story of the night so far is Mike Trussler. Aside from uh, Mayfield running away with this, uh, Mike Trussler putting in a strong performance here in the top ten. <coughs> Rodney Lugnuts now in the top ten. Montgomery Jr. He's running eleventh. And it's been a pretty nice run up for Salem Montgomery Jr. He has made a second stop, so well. he is uh, on sequence with the rest of the rest of the drivers out there and by the way anybody who does stop from this point should be good to go the rest of the, the event. Well it looks like Rally must have made another mistake as he's given that second spot to Preto. We got a couple guys driving around in the grass as uh, as we were doing the rundown we saw our, uh, we saw Rally a little off pace there going through the center S but um, so yeah he's lost that position to Andre. Ryan Mayfield into the pit. So Mayfield pits. Greg Myers, meanwhile, put in a great run. He's, he's solidly in the fourth position. We'll see what happens after the stops. He's really not that far off rally. Go ahead, Brad. Uh, that's exactly what I was going to say. It'll be interesting to see just what kind of positions he, uh, he does pick up or maintain or lose coming out of the pit stop. Let's see if Preto decides to stay out. Preto will stay out. Yeah, it looks like Mike Trussler putting in that great effort in ninth. I don't think he has come in yet, nor 10th place on track, Johnny Lugnut. So 
Whoever's in that BMW ahead of uh, Andre, that's a pretty good pace. Looks like that's either Salem, I believe that's Salem or or Marty, as those guys pitted a few laps back on uh, fresh tires, so they definitely got some pace on Andre. So Andre now. currently leading this race after Mayfield stop. Go ahead, Brett. Yeah, but Andre is just... No, he hasn't. I'm confused, Al. So Mayfield rejoins just behind Greg Myers. Greg Myers currently running third. Chris Moses back in fifth. Parsons continues his uh, sixth place run. Canavan in seventh. worth mentioning at uh, Canavan this is his first return he had a GT2 after a seat at least a season or two off so Canavan picking up uh, pretty much where he left off up near the front it's good to see Dave back yes it is and in a car that he's very familiar with as well so David Poole in eighth Trussler continues in ninth, followed by Lugnuts in tenth. Let's run it down here. Salem Montgomery Jr. now putting the pressure on Johnny. And gets the pass made. So good good move there by by Salem. Salem's got uh well he looks like he was the one that got by Andre and uh, with ease and he does the same with Johnny as uh, Salem's on a tear. So Myers into the pits now from the fourth position. If I had to guess, he's going to come out somewhere around the seventh, eighth, or ninth position. And he, of course, will be good to go to the end of the race. Laurent Vassman, 12th. Houston running 13th. Uh, Rich Roman, uh, looks like Rich is pitted. He's running 14th. Hamilton in 15th. Cup Douglas now finds himself in the points, running 16th. Further back, Marty Uren, 17th, followed by Matt Taylor. Nick Johnson running 19th. Mikey Monahan, 20th. Alex Scott running 21st. Trying to get by Calderon here in that Viper. Easier said than done. That car's a rocket. Ooh, as <laughs> Alex Scott nearly... Uh, T-boned, uh, called the roll down the straight. Kurt Chandler into the pits from 22nd. Looks like Preto's coming in. Jack Ivey, 23rd. Ben Rodriguez, 24th. Darian Bailey and Felipe Triana, 25th to 26th. Matrix running 27th. Mascarelli, 28th. Krishna Khalili in 29th, Dan Wilkerson 30th, Sergio Calderon 31st, Jonathan Cuppet, he's running 32nd, Chuck Carter 33rd, and Wathen into the pit lane at 34th, and that's it. So Mayfield takes over the lead from uh, Preto. Rally continues to stay out. He's in second. Has Rally pitted yet? David Rally has not pitted. Okay, so Rally. Rally still needs to pit. He's got Chris Moses in third. Looks like Rally is probably losing a ton of time. So the track, uh, ambient temperature 94 degrees, track temperature has gone up one degree. So conditions really have not changed. Track yeah, David Rowley lap times. Yeah, sorry, have, uh, have really gone up. The track remains flooded, no change in the conditions. 
Rose is running third. So Preto rejoins in seventh. Montgomery is in eighth, and Greg Myers in ninth. Let's drop, jump on board with Myers, trying to trying to chase down Montgomery. I don't know if Montgomery's going to be good to go to the end. Going to be tight. I mean, he could pedal it to the end, but uh, it's going to be close. Well, you had asked about Aaron Parsons. I got to tell you, I, I would be shocked if he hadn't come in so early as not to be able to make the rest of the race. I'm just wondering how much fuel he does have in that thing and if he can go the rest of the way. I'm starting to suspect he may not be able to. That's, he got, uh, he got just about uh, 42 and a half minutes left to go in this race. I get the feeling I, I, I'm sure Greg will be able to go to the end. Now, wouldn't that be a coup for Greg if these guys <laughs> up ahead have to uh, have to pit for even for just a splash and go? That'll give him just enough time to get up into the podium, most likely. Well, it's been such an interesting race with so many differing strategies. Some guys taking only tires. Maybe some guys did take some fuel and tires on that early stop. Uh, we, we've had the rain, so very difficult to know exactly what's going on here, confirm everything. Uh, there are still positions to be gained or lost, we know that. So Rally exits the pit lane in ninth. So loses a spot to Greg Myers, so Rally certainly stayed out way too long compared to his, uh, he just lost too much time on track. Yeah, he had a, a, a 1 minute 53 in there versus a lot of the other guys, 45s and 46s. So. Uh, probably threw it off track, unfortunately, somewhere else. So Preto now, after his pit, he is in sixth. David Poole in fifth. I'm not sure if Poole has pitted quite yet. Keep an eye on Poole, see what he does here. Uh, David Poole has made a pit stop. So he, David Poole, two pit stops this race. So Poole should be good to go to the end. So running... Uh, Solidly in fifth, however, I don't know if he's going to be able to hold up Preto, who's looming uh, just in the distance behind. I think last time Preto got by, Poole didn't give up, put up much of a fight. So Parsons yeah, in not, fourth. Go ahead. I'm just not sure exactly. David Poole pitted about ten laps ago. I'm just not quite sure of the consumption for some of these guys in the laps remaining. So Parsons fourth, Canavan now in third, and Moses now back in second with Mayfield leading this race. Take a look at the gap. Mayfield over Moses, 23 seconds. And, and uh, another 20, 21 seconds from uh, Moses to Canavan. You know, I was just going to say, I think that uh, that something's going on here. Chris Moses definitely has gained a bunch of time. And I just looked over there at the conditions. It has, the track has gone to wet. Yeah, it definitely so has. it looks like. It has gone to wet. Wow. So I was just going to say, it looked like the rain has let up a little bit. And uh, you're right. So these guys who might be running softs. Now here's another wrench into everybody's plans. These guys running soft wets, perhaps. It might be still too hot, but some guys may be running them. They're going to be wishing they didn't. Yeah, and uh, I just add to my confusion, why not? Because I'm already about halfway lost. <laughs> this is great. So, what a great way to start Season 22 here at, in GT2. Yeah, well, there's no way Aaron can go the rest of the way. So that's definitely a stop for him, and this might have come at a very good time. Well, certainly not. Now, that, that could be a pro pose a problem for some of these guys as well. We're hoping to go the rest of the distance, but as the race, as the track, if it starts to dry up, the speeds increase, and the you know it's going to burn more fuel. So 
So, interesting times ahead for these guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm can't wait. <laughs> well, let's see what we can find further back. Parsons, ooh, Parsons and Poole. David Poole has found some speed. And it's now all over the back of uh, Aaron Parsons. Oh, we lost somebody. Yeah, I didn't see who that was. Boy, no matter what tires these guys are on, the, the, the track temperature creeping back up. The tire temperature is going to be uh, creeping back up. The tires are going to start ballooning on them. And a pretty good chunk of this race yet to run. Well, with David Poole, as he tries to make his way past Parsons, who's got a lap car up ahead of him. Boy, suddenly Ryan Mayfield on the last time lap, one second faster than the previous lap. Nick Johnson's taking the DNF, Al. Yep, just saw that. David Poole had a look. Had a lurch as well. Just want to remind you guys, next week we'll be coming to you live from Ruapuna Park. New Zealand. Great track. New one here. Oh, that'll be a fun one. Oh, yeah. New, new, uh, it's going to be a first time for GT2, so, uh, actually for, for any, uh, any of our leagues, so, hope you guys tune in for that one. It should be a good time. So, yeah, as you watch that, David Poole. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. As you watch that David Poole battle, there are still quite a few battles going on out there on track. John Houston, not too far off the back bumper of Rich Roman. And Mike Monahan and Laurent Weissman have come right together over the 16th position as well. So that little mistake by Poole after he tried to make that pass or have a look on Parsons cost him. Uh, oh, as Poole dives into the pit lane. Whoa, hold up. Whoa, that was close for Poole. Man, I don't know how he kept that off the wall. So, Poole. Not sure why he's back in. Well, it looks like it's scheduled stop. So, that's going to give Parsons that fifth position. And now, Greg Myers will move up to six with David Raleigh on his tail. I was wondering about David Poole being able to make the rest of the uh, race distance, but... Uh, for a lot of these guys who do have to come in, it will at, at least be a short fuel fill for them. So save a little bit of time there. Now track temperature continues to climb. Now 103 degree track temperature, 96 degrees Fahrenheit ambient. Wow. Track obviously remains wet, but with these temps, especially if it starts raining, the track will dry up quick. We saw how fast it got wet. Went to damp almost within a half a lap. Yeah, not sure how quickly it may dry out around this place, but one thing's for sure, even with that now 104 degree just switched over there, Fahrenheit on track, it <laughs> doesn't matter what tires you have on, if there are any type of wet tread, they're going to get hot. Wow. That'd be interesting. I wish uh, I knew what type of uh, tire David Poole would be jumping onto now. Kind of a tough, tough situation he's in because the track's gone to wet. It's on the cusp of possibly going to, to, to damp. It's too wet for it Rinders, mo most likely. So, I mean, it's too bad if he could have held out a little longer. He probably would have paid off for him. I don't know. The Inters may be the gambler's choice, Al. If you expect the track to continue to dry and you can hang on here for another six or seven laps, it uh, could end up being the perfect choice. Oh, yeah, the Z4 off. I don't. 
So, David Rowley. Unable to get past Greg for that sixth position. David Poole, ooh. That must have been that must have been a quick start. That was a quick start for Poole. He rejoins in eighth. So I wonder if it was just fuel only. Yeah, hard to say. He may have had a look at conditions before that stop. If not, he could be in trouble on that tread if it <laughs> continues to really dry out. If he didn't take tires. Boy, just hard to say. Chris Moses into the pit. Wow. From second. So these guys starting to come in. I see Thomas Shue. That looks like an early stop for Moses. So his tires may be taking a pounding. As yeah, now. Well, this will put Ryan Mayfield way out in the lead, but I tell you, I think uh, though he is good to go on fuel. Oh, boy. He definitely does not have uh, intermediates on. I can tell you it's at least hard or soft, full wet. Preto to make uh, the for the pass on Parsons, and he gets it done. Just an incredible run here for Andre. He's working his way through the field. And once he gets by, he's gone. Okay, Greg Myers now back into the pit. Well, Moses makes his way out. Greg, Alan, Brad in the broadcast booth. What are you doing? What's your strategy? What's your strategy? I'm putting on intermediates, not taking any fuel. Just going to... I think that might be the right call. Hopefully it doesn't rain again. You good to go to the end? Yep. Excellent. Good luck. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Yeah, so Ryan Mayfield currently working lap 50 of the schedule. What do we think it's going to go here? 79 laps, Al? I know the max distance is 86. But yeah, it was uh, 76, but I don't think due to the weather, I don't think it's going to go uh, that uh, I don't think it's going to get close to that. But Greg, let's well, keep an eye on Greg as he switches on to the enters. Tires only. He's good to go to the end on fuel. Oh, well, there was a first for yeah, us. So he's pulling somebody in and during a pit stop. Nice, nice. I like it, Al. Nice twist. So Gregory Myers comes out in the eighth position and is good to go and on perhaps a superior tire. Boy, that could end up being a real uh, coup for Greg Myers here towards the end of this race. I like it. Nice move. So it looks Boy, like it's getting sunny out there now. Oh, absolutely. As these guys have. Wow. Just like that, it's gone to uh, sun, sunny conditions. And wow. As these guys have pitted, this is going to pay off. I don't think as Parsons is in the pits, it's just too wet for, for dries. It's but too wet for dries, but the guy I keep thinking about over and over again is Ryan Mayfield. Now, Ryan Mayfield, again, is, is uh, on some type of wet tire. And though he has a huge lead, you know, it's possible to blow these things up. And I tell you, 107-degree track temperature now coming down that front straight. He is going to have to be careful. So we got our eye on yeah. Mayfield. Go ahead, take it, Brad. i got to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Yeah, you got it. I was going to say, I think... Uh, Mayfield may be forced to come in. Now, he has quite a lead, and if he has fuel uh, to go the rest of the way, then he shouldn't have a problem being able to come in and switch off those tires uh, and still retain a nice lead. But in the meantime, I think uh, he is going to have to show a little bit of caution out there and preserve what's left of, those, uh, of that tread on that rubber. So, I don't think there's anybody who is likely tuning in late here, but... Uh, you've missed one whale of a race if you uh, if you did happen to mosey on him uh, here recently. Uh, the order's been pretty jumbled up throughout the course of the race. Of course, you'll remember because it started raining on us, and it not only rained, but the skies pretty much opened up. So the drivers have been dealing with that for the last uh, hour and 15 minutes of this event. 
suddenly the uh, the clouds have cleared off and the sun is out. So uh, we have uh, more question marks uh, not only here in the booth but perhaps in uh, some of these drivers' heads as well about exactly just uh, what's going to be happening uh, on these tires and what decisions they may have to make as this race is quickly drawing to a close now, uh, perhaps only about 20 laps from the end of this event. So the, uh, the last act is playing out and uh, these guys will have to be on top of their game if they want to pick up those positions. Still, uh, many positions here to pick up or lose uh, depending on the decisions made here in the next 20 laps. So, track conditions uh, worsening or getting better, I guess, <laughs> depending on your point of view and the tires that you're on. Now, 108 degrees out there on track, so very steamy. Yeah, as we pick up David Canavan, I am back. Thank you, Brad. Canavan is, he is staying out. So it looks like Canavan is going to wait it out and see what happens here. Preto, he's running at third. Preto staying out as well. Yeah, an interesting position for Canavan, though I do not think that he can make fuel. I think Canavan's going to have to come in for a fuel stop at the very least. Dave Rally with a big slide there. Let's see what he decides to do. He's got Mayfield on his tail. May Mayfield with a bunch of traffic ahead of him. Oh, Ken Rodriguez has just shown up as a DNF. I don't know if yeah, that's been that way for a while, but uh, in any event, Ken Rodriguez out of this race. Well, the sun is out. Track remains wet. Dave Rally just put a lap down by Mayfield. Chris Moses now finds himself back in fifth. David Poole running at six. Poole pitted. Oh, yeah, I see that BMW with heavy front end damage. Oh, I was going to say, hopefully that's not Greg. It's not. It looks like that's Halili. Greg Myers. Looks like uh, Inters might be the way to go, it seems, at this point, because looks like Greg's got a pretty good handle on that Beamer. Well, taking a look through timing and scoring, Ryan Mayfield has been extremely consistent there in the 1 minute 38 mark or so. Nobody else even close to being able to match those times out on track. So uh, pretty pretty amazing to see those types of times lap after lap with uh, no doubt decreasing tire uh, uh, happiness. <laughs> Nobody really even close to the last guy. The closest guy to him on track is David Bull with a 39.6. Everybody else in... Uh, up in the 141s. Now Parsons chasing down Greg Myers, Parsons, and uh, and Greg, uh, GT1 teammates, Thursday nights. Looks like Canavan has made a mistake here. Oh, uh, and it's Jack Ivey. Jack Ivey gets out of shape and gets into the side of Greg. Tough break there for Greg, but Greg didn't lose a position, though. That allowed Parsons to get onto the back of Greg. So to finish up that quick update, David Canavan has made a mistake going into turn four. Andres Prieto now right on his back bumper over the second position. Oh, Prado with a mistake. Oh, oh I, I might have been muted. Sorry. Prado with a big mistake. I just had a quick update from the viewers. David Rowley, it looks like he has gone off. And so I was giving up some time. And David Rowley, I believe, has a puncture. Puncture at the rear for David Rowley. Oh, that's uh, curtains for Rowley. Hopefully he can get oh, it back to the pits in uh, one piece. Now, he is on a lap with a lot of other cars. If he, oh, just take it slow. Get back in there, David. Hold on to those positions. Now, easy going back out there. Easy, buddy. 
All right. Canavan into the pits. So, what a turn of events here for Rally. Oh, Matt Taylor just showing up as a DNF, Al. Uh, Looks that, like Matt Taylor's out. That's a shame. Mike Bonahan now up to ninth. Montgomery Jr. running 10th. Lugnuts in 11th. And Tressler continues with a great run. He's in 12th. Patrolman running in 13th. Houston back at 14th. Christian Hamilton now 15th in the points, as is Marty Uren. Marty Uren uh, involved in a big accident earlier, but uh, managed to get back to the pits and repair it. Cup Douglas 17th. Vassman 18th. Alex Scott running 19th. Kurt Chandler back in 20th. Darian Bailey, 21st. Mascarelli running 22nd. Jack Ivey, 23rd. Ivey with the big damage in the front of that Viper. Great Tricks, 24th. And Dan Wilkerson. Ooh, wow, we got guys dicing all over the place. So Wilkerson running 25th. Ooh, this could be interesting here as we go into one. Wow, those Porsches have been all over the place tonight. As Wilkerson gets it a little wrong. And Mayfield, our leader, right in the middle of all these guys. Chuck Carter, 26. We got Wathen, 27th. I don't know where he's going. Halili, 28th. Through the shell sign. Called her own running 29th. Cup at 30th. And that's it. Oh, Taylor. Oh, he's out. So we got a couple more guys there. There's Rally. He made it back into the pits. And looks like Jack Ivey's in as well. So Mayfield has everybody lapped minus Preto. Track continues to be wet. Track temperature 111 degrees, and May, uh, Mayfield with a minute 22 second lead over Preto. Just remarkable. Yeah, I'm, I'm really shocked by the lap times uh, Ryan is still able to put in, uh, given the conditions, but. Uh, in any event, that's great. <laughs> it's working out very good for him. So, um, obviously, a, a very dominating performance. Uh, race not over yet. Uh, lots of lap traffic out there, so uh, still have to be showing a lot of caution here. But uh, so far, so good. Looking good for uh, to take that first win of the season. And um, it's not going to be too much longer before Ryan Mayfield uh, laps the field. Well, I remember a lot of these guys did pit on to enters. So we assume Mayfield is going to have to pit for fuel at some point, right? No, I think Ryan Mayfield should be good to go on fuel. I think he hit his fuel pit window. I'm I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, pretty sure on that one. But um, I I just I you know it was flooded when he came in, still, and, uh, and there wasn't any indication that the temperature was going up that something might change. Uh, so I'm more or less amazed that he could hold this type of pace. He has to be on some type of wet, treaded tire, or just accidentally made a great decision. Yeah, it appears the, the hard wets are holding up for him at this juncture in the race. We assume.
Ooh, Johnny Lugnuts and Mike Monahan now right together over the ninth position. Not sure where they're at on fuel stops, but a great run for both those guys. On board with Johnny. Not sure if Monahan is good to go. What a oh. shoot. Johnny Lugnuts can go the distance. So he is good to go running 10th, uh, depending on, uh, you know, tires exploding and whatnot. I just took it off track. Oh, rally back into the pit. Boy, what a heartbreak for rally. What a fantastic run he had going up. Challenging for the second position now. Just uh, miscue after miscue here late in this race. It's been tough conditions out there. You know, hard to blame again. Not sure what happened to Moses, but he's got heavy front end damage to that Audi. He's under intense front pressure from Poole with Roman right ahead. As it looks like we got... Well, a couple more Porsches involved in a incident. Now David Poole challenging for that podium. Yeah, given how quickly Poole has caught up, I don't know that Chris Moses is going to fight him too hard here. Uh, Chris Moses may want to consolidate. Of course, we're still a little unclear on some of the final pick decisions here. And if uh, somebody's going to have to dart in. Andres Preto goes a lap down to leader Ryan Mayfield. You muted there, Al? Yep, just watching the race. Like the rest gotcha. of these. As a little lurch there from Moses allows Poole to get by for third. Now oh, Moses really struggling that Audi. Like I said, he's got some damage to the front of that car. Not sure that how that came about, unfortunately. But quickly dropping back from Poole after Poole gets by. Pool and Roman, Roman the lap down to pool. Got about 15 minutes Mayfield left. Went, Go ahead. Yeah, went 36 laps. So if things hold true, you'd have to go to lap 77. Would be 36 lap stint from when he pitted last. So, yeah, he might be good to go. Boy, so tough to see who's running where in our timing and scoring at this point with everybody lapped. So as David Poole continues to run in third, he'd be the first to tell you at a disappointing season 21 after a strong challenge for the championship in season 22 but he's off to a great start as Roman has a big moment and uh, nearly collects pool the pool lucky to escape that so Canavan now running back in fifth let's run it down once one more time Parsons in sixth Greg Myers in the seventh position Montgomery Jr. 8th, Lugnuts in ninth. Houston 10th, Rally off track, Roman 11th, Mike Trussler in 12th and off track as well. 
Marty Uren now running in 13th. Hamilton 14th. Gup Douglas back in 15th with Monahan into the pits for six, uh, in 16th. Laurent Va Vassman. Oof. That Mercedes has seen better days. He's running in 17th. Alex Scott now in 18th, followed by Kurt Chandler in 19th. We got a lagged out BMW, not sure who that is. Uh, 20th, Lou. Dally, Darian Bailey is now 20th. Who did we lose there? Was it Pool? It was... I believe that was either Marty or Salem. It looks like it was Salem. Yeah, Alan, 21st. Greatrix, 22nd. Wilkerson, 23rd. Chuck Carter, 24th. Jack Ivey off pace and running at 25th. Wathen, 26th. We gotta make sure this is actually Wathen driving tonight. But he's running 26th. Halili, 27th. Calderon, 28th. And Cup at 29th. And that's it. What do we have? 42 start? 44? 42? Something like that? 42 out. Down to 30. We've lost 12 drivers to attrition. It, actually, I don't think that's that bad, to tell you the truth. They have been some brutal conditions. Uh, I suspect that we will, might see another couple of retirements here. Boy, there are no gaps that are really close out on track at the moment. Uh, these guys are not only positions apart, but laps apart as we, uh, as we run down the field here. So. Uh, I think that it has really become a race within oneself at this point. Uh, the, the tires, no doubt, are really screaming. Temperature continues to go up. So, uh, and you know, so a lot of times racing against yourself can be the, the hardest, uh, hardest person to race against. So, uh, still a fight out there for these guys. Well, should the race finish the way it is, uh, Mayfield will have a commanding lead in the competition index. A full lap over everybody. One. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> I don't think that's ever been done before. Yeah, that's that's a good point there. Um, and you know, if I'm I'm Ryan Mayfield, I actually consider at this point coming in and taking fresh tires. I mean, why not? It's not like you're you're going to lose hardly any ground at all, and you can ensure that way that uh, you know you've got good rubber the rest of the way. Um, things don't get dicey on you. Uh, just a little bit of an insurance policy. I'm just really surprised he's uh, he's been able to run these tires for this long, especially at this heat, 113 track uh, track temperature now. Uh, yep, I agree. It'd be interesting to see. I can only assume that for some reason he took intermediate tires. The only thing I can assume. I don't don't know why he would, but I guess he knows better than me, apparently. So Preto second, Poole now comfortably in third with Canavan and... Well, well it's been a heck of a race as we start drawing toward our conclusion here. There's Moses in fourth, Canavan back in fifth, Parsons sixth, trying to find some tight battles We've here. We've got to give it up to Aaron Parsons as well now. Go ahead. Okay, Aaron, Aaron did finally come in we know he's good to go but up to sixth place Aaron Parsons really struggling in the beginning of that race and last week in the qualifying race as well I think Aaron has done a great job taking advantage of these conditions not uncommon for him at all and uh, David Poole you got to hand it to David Poole as well he has uh, he, I would say that there's been a lot of guys around him that have had pace on him but again also uh, benefit benefiting from just keeping the darn thing on track and uh, certainly find himself in a podium position I'll be honest with you, I think, uh, ooh, as Rally is in a precarious position, he better, yep, doing the right thing, backing it out of the way, as uh, the adventures of Rally continue tonight. But going back to Poole, 
you know, he was kind of mediocre start to the race. He fell back. And he wasn't really on pace uh, compared to the guys around him. Midway through the first, you know, first stint, stint and a half of this race. And, and then it seemed like he just turned it on. He flicked it on and he started picking up positions. And now he's got, he's running a great, great race tonight. Second fastest on track next to the leader. Yeah, I completely agree. And he is in third place, and he's got an outside shot at Andres Prieto. They're turning very similar lap times, but, uh, you know, it's uh, about uh, 15, 20 seconds back is all. So not, uh, not out of the question for David Poole to advance his position yet further. It's been a great drive. Yeah, we just got uh, under 10 minutes now left to go in this race. It's been a highly entertaining affair here at Interlagos. We thank everybody again for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the show thus far. Ooh, Aaron Parsons just had some type of moment. He's going very slowly on track. Thought for a moment he might have a puncture, but no, it looks like all four tires are up. Greg Myers continues in seventh, trying to pick up a battle here. Eighth, Roman. Houston is in ninth. Now Trussler finds himself in the top 10. What happened to Lugnuts? Lugnuts back in 11th. Uh, I think this, uh, if it finishes like this, I think this is going to be Trussler's uh, best race of the night uh, of his uh, NAGP career. His best finish. He's done a great job. Oh, Rich Roman spins in the second sector. Don't know if John Houston's very close to him. Oh, John Houston is going to get passed possibly for that ninth position. He does. Oh, Ryan Mayfield into the pits, Al. Wow, here we go. Yeah, shouldn't uh, shouldn't be a problem for him. He's got lots and lots of time. Let's see, last time lap of 148. So maybe he had some mistake out there and decided, well, enough's enough on the tire. Uh, Andre now just, just getting by the pit exit. So it looks like Mayfield just a quick splash and some tires and he'll be on his way. Cruise home, and uh, looks like some of these guys will get their laps back. Yeah, Preto Pool gets his laps back. Uh, not sure about Moses. He does. As Rally, he is off in the same spot, and it looks like he's parked. Wow. Well, it looked like a couple of attempts at the slick tires uh, didn't work out. You know, after running so such a long race tonight, you wonder why gamble like that. You know, it's perhaps. Well, I assume that he tried it out. Go ahead. Yeah, after the puncture, I, I assume after the puncture he went ahead and just tried it out. At that point, there's not too much to lose and. Uh, and who knows, maybe you can pick up a few spots. So, yeah, his gamble didn't quite pay off for Dave. So, Mayfield is away and retains his lead. Which is now 56 seconds over Andre. Says the track now 115 degrees. And it's still wet, remarkably. As Jack Ivey's pointing the wrong way. Yeah, that was officially suspension damage for David Rally. Ah, tough break for Rally. No pun intended. As Montgomery Jr. reports back from the pit lane. Electrical problems in his BMW. Caused that, that failure. Sucked. Yep. So this Houston uh, Roman battle rages on here as Houston. Oh, it looks like he's gapped Roman a little bit here, but you know what? Seeing as Roman started pretty much near the back or at the back of the field and jumped in this car last second, not too shabby of a performance. Yeah, not at all. And it looks like he's going to get on run on Houston. Looks like Houston yeah, Rich Roman. is 
not going to hang on to it. Maybe he will. Let's see. Oh. Nice job by Houston to hang on to that spot. I guess a very seasoned driver, uh, Rich Rowland. Yeah, for sure. And really, John Houston, not too far off the pace of Aaron Parsons. Teammate Aaron Parsons as you see Rich fight back. Oh. That's Houston, a little too much curb there. Brad, you surprised to see this this track just stay wet the whole race after after the sun well, came out, the heat come rocking it up. You know, this happens occasionally. We just uh, don't have a lot of experience with the track. We have had it rain out here before, but uh, by and large, I think they've been events where it stayed wet. So, not a lot of knowledge on how quickly this place dries out. Uh, but now we do have some. It doesn't dry out very quickly. Ooh, Roman nearly takes now, it off. Yeah, sorry, as you're watching that, you know, Aaron Parsons had a moment, four or five laps back, allowed Gregory Myers to get within three or four seconds. That gap has not opened back up. So uh, Gregory Myers is actually in a position here possibly to uh, challenge for the sixth position late in this uh, race with the uh, laps winding down. Only about uh, two or three seconds back, Gregory Myers to Aaron Parsons. Yeah, Greg was holding uh, good pace on... Uh Parsons uh, prior to him coming together with Ivy, but uh, they seem to be both running similar lap times. Well, you have a uh, you have tire fatigue. It's been a long race. There's also some mental fatigue going on out there as well. Uh, lap traffic still a concern. Yeah, as this race so, winds, a tough long race. yeah, as the race winds down. Working lap 68, about to start lap 69. It should be the last lap of the race. So you got to hand it to, to Preto as well after having someone in his pit stall the first time around he had to drive around and go back into the pits to take tires to, to charge his way back up through the field yeah you're absolutely right it, it has been a, a remarkable run and i looking at the kind of the lap times when everything was shaking out he he was driving like a man possessed no question about it uh, uh, he was slicing through traffic and turning uh, uh, <laughs> lap time after lap time in the end, not going to be enough though for uh, for the win here unless something else uh, shakes out. So Mayfield works his way. To the final corner here, which should be the last time, if my timing's correct. Boy, Marty Wren suddenly finds himself in the tenth position. How'd that happen? Well, looks like we're gonna go one more. Oh, that'll make these guys happy. There's more than a few of them at this point just crying, Uncle. Get me <laughs> out of here. Yeah, as the gap's kind of spread out a bit here. The Kiana Van with a solid top five, and you're right. As Myers now closes the gap on Parsons, but... Yeah, and Greg Myers wants it to go a few more laps. Yeah, what a great run. And you're absolutely right about John Houston as well, uh, making that late uh, race pass there for 
over Rich Roman. Solid eighth place. Great effort. Yeah, Roman made that uh, that move on him. They stayed side by side through this whole section of the track they're on right now and hung on to it. And hasn't looked back. Back up to the leader. Yeah, and as we watch Ryan Mayfield come around, uh, presumably for the last time, I do want to make quick note as well to uh, not only Mike Tressler, but Christian Hamilton. Mike Monahan put in a fine performance there in 13th. Gub Douglas in 14th. Johnny Lugnuts there in 15th. Good runs all. Great runs. Oh, hey! what happened here? I think Andre was trying to let Mayfield by so he can get his lap back. Well, Poole gets by. That's it. Wow. Well, Andre... Wow. Andre just cost himself a spot there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Holy smoke. Andre's going to finish third. He gave it up to Poole. A little confusion there. So I'm just going to have to make yeah. his way around one more time. Well, we were all a little scratching our head there. Well, I'm wondering if Andres can make it around another time. Maybe he's worried about fuel or something and wanted to get Ryan Mayfield by so he didn't have to run another lap. But that paid off for Poole as he's going to take second. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What a turn of events here. So it looks like Andre's going to... Looks like he's going to make I it back. I think he is having fuel concerns. I think he is having fuel concerns, Al. Wow, he wanted to get that... He wanted to get put a lap down so he'd finish... Finish second, but... Good job by Poole but for staying on it. And not letting up through this uh, closing uh, closing uh, parts of this race. So Poole will take second. Unbelievable! What a great what a great job! Great race! Wow, Poole must be excited. So Prachel, there he is. He's going to take third. Wow, those points could be costly at the end of the year. We know how close th these things can be. Well, there you have it. There's, uh, that's going to do it as Ryan Mayfield takes the win here in round one at Interlagos. What a tremendous race. Let's see if yeah, Gup actually, Gup Douglas actually yet to cross the line, but looks like he is going to make it. Let's see if we can have a word with, with Ryan here at the end. Ryan, Alan, Brad here in the broadcast booth. Congratulations on a great, uh, great run here tonight. Gotta say, it was uh, quite a dominating performance. Any, uh, well, our big question was your your tire choice there at the end, as the track started really getting uh, getting really hot out there, and the track temps shot up. How were those uh, wet tires holding up for you? <laughs> they were fried. Um, I was actually really conserving them at least in the, the left-handers, because the right rear was getting up to like 300 sometimes. Um, the thing is though, my teammate, he switched over to intermediates and they weren't any better. So I just stuck with it and um, at the end I had enough of a gap to switch to fresh ones to see what I could do. Um, wow, track conditions were so weird though. Like, it just stayed wet the whole time. And, and, you know, it, it sped up, but it was never dry enough for intermediates or anything. I think um, a lot of guys prematurely switched over to those, and it, it really just helped me a lot. Yeah, and it, uh, it probably didn't hurt much that Andres Prieto had a little bit of a pit stop snafu. Unfortunately, I think somebody was in his box. He had to come around again uh, when that rain started falling and the switch over to slick. So that really allowed you to get out and get a little bit of a breather to, uh, to settle into the conditions. Uh, uh, so was it a pretty easy race from there? Did you have any trouble with lap traffic? Yeah, that was huge. Um, Rich pointed out that Andre fell way back, so something had happened, yeah. 
Um, uh, that kind of sealed the deal for me as long as I didn't do anything too crazy because when you have enough of a comfortable gap, you don't have to take those crazy chances going around some of the lap traffic. Um, so it, it's really a safety thing at that point. Just play conservative. No reason to go super fast and, and do what you can, really. Well, Ryan, a great job tonight and a great way to start the season. You got pole. You got the win tonight. And uh, way to go. So looking forward to seeing you next week. Uh, it's going to be the first time GT2 uh, will be carrying uh, 40 kilograms of weight ballast as opposed to uh, previous seasons. So... It's going to be interesting to see how you do with uh, with that extra added weight on your car next week. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much experience with added weight, but Wyatt was telling me the 40K is going to be crazy if I ever did get it. Well, great job again tonight, and, uh, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Congratulations again. Thanks, guys. Uh, thank you for putting in the time to broadcast. I really can't wait to watch this one. Um, it's going to be two hours, which is pure awesome. Um, I know it was pretty boring up where I was, but seeing like all the guys battle for like fifth or sixth, that's where the real winners are, you know? Yeah, it was very entertaining race. You're going to enjoy it. So good luck next week, and uh, congrats again. Thanks. Uh, see you in seven days. All right, there you have it. Our winner, uh, Ryan Mayfield. So, Rich, it looks like uh, his teammate took a gamble on those enters, and uh, as he said, it wasn't much better. Pretty interesting, huh, Brett? Yeah, well, in fact, we saw Rich Roman get past there late in that race by John Houston. We made note of that. So perhaps, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess the wet tires were the ones to be on all along. I'm just, uh, it's pretty staggering pace, really, all, all in all, after... Uh, after we saw everybody have so many problems for Ryan Mayfield. But that was a great win for him and obviously puts the season off to a great start. And uh, shoot, those points by Rich Roman that he got for that ninth place aren't going to hurt at all toward his uh, overall team championship hopes. So, uh, so great race, great job, David Poole, and of course, Andres Prieto for rounding out the podium. Well, we'll have to sort out what happened on that last lap and, uh, and get it to our viewers there next week. All right, speaking of next week, we'll be at uh, Ruapuna Park, uh, first time at that track. So uh, really looking forward to that. Hopefully you guys can join us next week starting at 9. But until then, you can catch the GT1 race uh, from Suzuka, three-hour feature race there starting at 8 p.m. Eastern with Jack and Ken Rodriguez. So uh, thanks again, guys, for tuning in tonight. We really appreciate it. And Brad, thanks uh, for helping out. See you guys next week. Thanks, Al.